first thing we need is a toy gun. This was a, an airsoft uh, rifle. I traced the shape on a wood block using a marker. I cut everything and this is the result. I drill a hole here and here on the top. Now from a PC printer I took apart this iron bar. On this bar I have to slide this uh, wood piece that I drill all the way through. I slide it in place and I continue to push the bar uh, until it stops in its position, like this. Now I take a QAV valve, if you don't know what it is, you have to click the video on the top uh, in the right, otherwise you don't understand anything of this rifle. Now from eBay I bought this uh, sliding valve. This valve is very interesting. Inside the blue parts there are two um, O-rings that slides on the valve itself. So let's see how it works. When it's in this position, it works like a simple tube. The air comes from the left and go out from the right. When I slide the, the valve back, I stop the air from the tank. So on the left, the air stops. But you can see these little holes. All these little holes let the air going out from the right and goes out from these little holes. So. I can activate the QAV. So repeat, like this, I stop the air on the left and like this, I activate the QAV letting the air going out from these little holes. So I just have to screw this uh, sliding valve on the back of the QAV ready for being activated and charged. So this uh, 90 degree connector, I screw it on the QEV, another 4 cm half inch connector on the QEV and I stop everything with this uh, component. This is the air container, air chamber for the QEV. The bigger is the chamber, the more power have the QEV. With the marker, I trace the QEV shape on the back of the rifle and now I give the shape uh, so that it stays perfectly. I paint everything in black. Now I take at a local shop uh, at a discount these very cheap candies. They are, they are perfectly round and they stay just perfectly inside this uh, PVC electrician connector tubes. I cut it 70, 70 centimeters long and on, on the back I screw this connector that I have to screw on the front of the QEV valve. I take this plastic T and I put it on top. Now in the kitchen I took this uh, sugar container and I connect it on the top of the T. Now I take another piece, uh, bigger piece of electrician tube and with a marker I trace 45 degree angle on both both the container this tube let's see better how I draw the the lines these are the lines I cut everything following the the, the marker this is the result the tube let there let the only one uh, projectile go inside the chamber like this now I take a spring and a small plastic connector and I stop everything on it the spring let the plastic tube go back in its position. Now with a drill I drill a hole inside the chamber big enough to let only one BB, only one projectile go inside the chamber. I paint everything in black and I connect two small springs to the loading system of the projectile. I give a, a better shape to the rifle, letting a middle piece, and I'm let, now I'm getting sure that the slide valve and the loading system haven't, hasn't got anything that stops it. I connect the two springs on the wood piece that is on the back, like this. Do the same thing on the other side, and now let's see if everything works. Yes, it's just perfect. 